to the XT Fitness Community Workout. I have my brother John here, his wife Gail is right behind, behind the scenes here, but she's welcome to come in front of the scenes. So good to have you here today, and we'll get started. We're gonna, you know, we're going to start at 8.01 today. 8.01. I'm just okay. kidding. Okay. Because I got on late. Because I got on late. So yeah, if you're if you're logging in and you're uh, and you're gonna watch and you're actually gonna do the workout today with us and you're not uh, a, an XT Fitness member, then great to have you. Great to have you. And uh, as I'm talking, and this is including the, the, the XT members that are, are regulars on, on my my site. A uh, little trio with a little 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 trio warm up. As I'm talking, maybe, you know, a bend, a trio, yeah, yeah. a bend, a squat, a, a forward one. lunge, you know, a bend, a squat, a reverse lunge, are those things, these are those things, by the way, a little squat, a little half squat, uh, and uh, so as I'm explaining the, the, the workout that's going to be a lot of fun today, you can kind of let the body know you're going to start something, all right, all right? Again, thanks for being here today, John. Appreciate it. Here, man. Appreciate the worker outer, the worker outer that does it. Saturday a.m. Yeah, yeah. As I coach, but you know, I, I changed my whole thinking of player coach, where I'm, I'm now a coach player. Oh, okay. Because if you're a player coach, yeah. you're all about playing and scoring points. If I started to call you coach, instead of yeah, coach, coach. that'd be cool. So, I am America's Fun Fitness Coach. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna look to see who's on real, real, real quick. Here. I'm gonna come behind here. It's uh, great to have everybody. All right, my Kindle. Yeah, yes. I'm not going to call everybody out, but uh, I'm loading up here. If you're just logging on because you're swiping through your story and you see this and you click on it real quick, this will be downloaded to this page so you can do the workout uh, later, t today if you want. Or it will also be downloaded to YouTube where if you go to my Jim Steffen uh, page, it's Got the channel. GoPro. Channel. I don't need the GoPro. I've been downloading right from oh, the phone. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Yeah. Ever since you told me they made a movie with a cell phone, oh, yeah. it's like, why do you need yeah. a GoPro? Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. Dude, what movie was That's that? a good basketball movie on Netflix. Uh, yeah. It's really? Good. I can't remember what it's called, but it's, okay. it's a basketball movie on Netflix. It's just filmed with an iPhone. Yeah. Entirely filmed with an iPhone. Yeah. That's, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah it's good. good okay. Okay, John, you might have to demonstrate some of these real quick. Push, push up plank rows. If you don't have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, that's okay. You can, you don't need a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You can just pretend like you're holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Look at this is the combo workout, everybody. So that's a full push up, and that's a plank row. Okay, that's good, John. So the combo workout today, we're doing combination exercises of the fundamentals, and I'll talk about the fundamentals here uh, for those of you that heard about that here in a minute. Um, you have two minutes to do 20 push plank rows. And this underneath here is to fill in the cracks. If you're maybe going a little faster and maybe you have a little lighter weight or you're not losing, using weight, you might finish this in a minute. So until we do our next board, you can fill in the cracks with a ring row or a bent over row. A bore is a bent over row with a, with a dumbbell, okay? Just fill in the cracks with that, with that pole movement. Does that make sense? Pulls. The pole, that pole movement. Yeah. Uh, but we are pushing, pushing and pulling, yeah. pushing and pulling. Here, sumo high pull, dumbbell floor to mill is one repetition. So a sumo high pull underneath the chin, dumbbell floor to mill all the way up, that's one. That's going to be tough because you have 20 of those. And there's number two. See if you can finish 20 in two minutes. Some of you that are going a little heavier, this is going to be brutal. If you have a kettlebell, feel free to double hand that kettlebell here all the way up and back then, okay? You can still do the kettlebell uh, with a single hand by flipping it right there, okay? It's tough, Keep, and I'll, I'll go over technique as we're doing it. But if you finish that, do a dumbbell curl. Do a dumbbell curl, Rob Hammer, because uh, I think Rob Hammer's been, uh, he's been wanting uh, curls, and I haven't been doing those as much. Rob Hammer's one of those guys that, like, after the workout, like, you get a really good workout, they go in the corner and just, like, burn them out. Burn yeah, through, just do yeah. this, burn them out, man, which, yeah. Yeah. anyhow, switch squat, forward lunge, switch squat, forward lunge, so, I'm gonna, so if you don't, if you have a, a, a kettlebell, it's, it's, you're, you're picking it up, 
lunge. There's one. Switch arms and switch legs. Number two. But that, that you yeah. squat down three and lunge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You might be able to crank that up. Hey. Switch you can just down. use your you can switch arms and legs every time. Yeah. yeah. Just use your fist. You use your fist and squat and lunge 20 times. You're going to get your heart rate up. Okay? 20 of those. If you finish, overhead march. Overhead march is just taking your dumbbell or kettlebell over your head and marching. If you don't have a kettlebell or dumbbell, I would slow it down, work on your balance, and just hold your arm above the head like that. You know what? You're moving. You're getting your heart rate up. You're making the commitment to physical exercise. So you're doing it. Rever okay, number four. I didn't put a number on there, but number four is reverse lunge thruster with a high knee. So ten each way. So take that. So boom. Keep oh. ten each way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch it. All one movement from right to there. Oh, so this is tough for balance. There's number three. Do one more, John. Oh, yeah. oh shoot. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, you don't have to do one. <laughs> Well, do one now. Do one now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's going to take energy, especially if you have a heavy, uh, heavy piece of iron. Piece of iron. Uh, sing, dumbbell single stiff if you're finished. So a dumbbell single stiff is just single leg. It's keeping the balance. Yeah. All right. So, okay. two minutes, 30 second break. Two, two, two. We go back to the beginning and hit it again with two minutes of each one. So we do each board twice. Okay. This is some good strength training, some good weight training. You can build some lean muscle here, everybody. Okay, and then, and then, seven minute dice roll, seven minute dice roll, top of every minute for seven minutes. Uh, I roll the dice right there, double. Double push up burpee. Double push up burpee okay. would just be a double push burp would be. Double push over. You'll, you'll know. I'll roll it early and demonstrate. Early roll. Top of every minute for seven minutes. Hinge aisles. Hinge aisles for eight. There's one. That's a hinge aisle. Again, we're going to go over that roll this dice. You'll be glad to know that I'm not going to cowbell it every time. I'm not going to cowbell it every time. I know that irritates the devil later. It just irritates it. Okay. After that, the seven minute dice roll. The XT members, XT members, here's your challenge, here's your challenge. One minute of one arm plank, so it's a three minute challenge. It's a one minute of just a one arm plank, 100 runners. We need to demonstrate those, uh, yeah, yeah. So run 100 runners, and then 100 level one bicycles. With level one bicycles are using your hands, sitting up, one, two, 100 of those, okay? You just have to finish that in three minutes, in three minutes. And when you finish that, so whoop, whoop, with the XT members, uh, this is your XT member May Fitness Challenge. Today is 100 sit-ups on that. I'm sure you knew that coming into the workout. So after that challenge, I kind of combined that. So if you want to mark all of your spots, so if, you're, if you want to mark all of your spots on the member May Challenge, the mark in the workout, Marking the challenge and the bonus at the end there, the hundred sit-ups. Boom, you got that day in. I think, I think, yeah. But gosh darn it, I gotta stop saying boom. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, there's no reason. That's for. very motivational. <laughs> okay. Speaking of motivation, I, I went over this quote uh, earlier in the week, and I loved it. When you can't change the direction of the wind, adjust your sails. Oh yeah. Well, you adjust your sails. Yeah, I talked about this oh, already. Yeah. And it's, uh, it, it's uh, the guy that wrote Life's Little Instruction Book, like the little book. Uh, his name is H. Uh, Jackson Brown Jr. H. Jackson Brown Jr. That's a quote from him. And you know what? It's just basically being under the influence of PMA, positive mental attitude, uh, throughout the day. And if you do happen to, if a little NMA creeps in, negative mental attitude, hey, adjust your sails. Adjust your sails. I think that's good stuff. Don't you, John? Yeah. And Gail? I might yeah. start listening to more Jackson Brown. Yeah, but H, H, Jackson oh, Brown oh, Jr. Okay. So yeah, I'm not running on empty, Jackson <laughs> Brown. <laughs> running on, I love running on empty. I thought it was good too, man. <laughs> wow, wow, Jackson Brown. Okay.
Everybody ready to rock this thing out. It's going to be fun. If you don't have, we still have a minute because I like to stay right on time. And uh, XT workouts, uh, you have a, a, a 10 minute uh, instruction and monologue. Uh, so, is that yeah. Is that an alternate or, or 10 10? You know what? Uh, um, I don't care. John just asked if that's a, a, a you know what? I'm going to do 10 10. I'd go 10 10. I like, I like 10 10 a lot just because it fatigues that same muscle group out. And according to Big Beyond Belief, yeah. you can fatigue that muscle out and it'll grow and get stronger. And if you get bigger and more toned, this will tone you up. For those of you that uh, don't, you know, we're going to start in, in, in 40 seconds. For those of you that don't know about uh, XT Fitness and aren't familiar and are just tapping on to watch a few of the exercises, we're doing the fundamentals of exercise here at XT Fitness. I base all of my workouts around the fundamentals, and the fundamentals are squatting, lunging, pushing, pulling, bending, and twisting. And the gate would be a run walk, which we're going to do that in the challenge tomorrow, the run walk. Yeah, I'm excited about covering some earth. Yes, Covering a mile of earth tomorrow, XT, XT members. You know what I'm talking about. With you. I'm going to go light today so I can excel at that. Oh, oh, oh so you're going to go light today. Yeah, so if you were a professional yeah, athlete, yeah, yeah, like Tiger Woods, you'd go light the day yeah, before. Yeah, you're right. You're out, man. I'm just kidding. That's, That's what Tracy, uh, Tracy Lawton asked. Did she ask if you walk the first mile just so the next week you can beat yeah, hey, run, just yeah, so you can beat yeah. your time? You don't want to get injured, man, before... before that was Terry Glick. No, Terry Glick, you can't do that, okay? Okay, so two minutes. 30 second break. Push, plank rows. If you finish, do ring rows or bent over rows. We are up in 10. We are up in 10. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can just get, do a full push up and then bam, row with your arm there. Pull your arm back. Go! 20 repetitions. 20 repetitions. So a push up. And a pull is one rep. Wow, I love that, Gail. You're not able to see Gail. And if I had a better stand, I'd take my phone off and show you what to do here. But uh, Gail is elevating her push-ups on a tire, which is great. Elevate your push-ups and then pull them like this. You can double that tire up. You can grab a couple chairs. Elevate the push-ups. Get more range of motion. Get more range of motion. So basically, you're just weight training. You have two minutes to do. Think of it, two sets of 10. You're welcome to take a break. If you have heavy weight, you're not gonna be able to non-stop this uh, uh, work. I wouldn't think without a break. There's a lot of movements here. Pushing and pulling, the fundamentals. The push and the pull. So you still have 55 seconds to take a break. Or fill in the cracks with bent over rows or, or ring rows if you have a pair of rings at home. And if you don't have a pair of rings at home, I come and install rings in people's basements, living rooms, garages, and I'll bring the rings over for you and make them in my ring factory. Anyhow, how many is that, John? That's it. That's, That's it. it? Okay, so you don't have to do the ring rows or the bent over rows, but know that you have another minute before we have to start the second board right now. So if you want to fill in the cracks, or if you think you need that full 50 second rest, that's fine. You can take that full 50 second rest. You can if you finish uh, early. So in 12 seconds, take the full rest. Yeah, take the full rest. Take the full rest. Gail's not. Gail's Gail's in the bent over row. And she's going heavier than John. No, I'm just kidding. No. Three, two, one. Okay, take a break. Take a break. Sumo high pull dumbbell floor to mill. This. 20 is a lot in two minutes. I'll tell you that right now. 20 is a lot in two minutes. If you do this with your fist holding an air weight, I'm going to start calling them air weight. Air, is, there, is there a better name? No, I like air weight. Air weight. If you're holding an air like weight. Air squat. Air, yeah, okay, air weight. Air weight. Yeah, yeah. Hold air, okay. Yeah, like air. Ready in five, four, three, two, let's go. Go. Okay. Sumo high pull. Dumbbell floor to mil military. When you squat down, Keep that chin up. Keep those shoulder blades back. You should be looking at John the whole time, okay? Looking at John. No, don't, don't look at the floor. It's not a stiff leg deadlift. It's a deadlift when you squat down and do that sumo high pull. It's a deadlift. You squat down when you do that dumbbell floor to mill. 
That's how, that's, that's, what is that, 17 kilograms, Joe? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so 20 reps. Air weight. Okay? Air weight. You're squatting down low when you do the air weight. Ooh. Keeping the shoulder blades back. At that low squat, stay through those heels. At that low squat, Stay through those heels. That's good. Wow. You might not be able to get 20 if you have a heavy weight, okay? So don't get bummed out if you're not getting them all. Great to have you. Great to have you. Keep it up. Good job, John. 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds before we do the switch squat forward lunge, which is on deck. Okay, Greg Nossi. Fred Ferguson, how are you doing? Great, Todd. TC, TC Clark. <laughs> Lindsay, good. Larry the Wickheisers. Mike Hindle. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Christine Hoot. Grant Hoot, hopefully. Eric and Natalie Stearns. Samantha, yeah. Ron and Melinda. Six seconds. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, time! That should have hurt. Remember, we're doing this. We're doing these all of these exercises again. We're doing these exercises again. Switch squat. Forward lunge. Squat down, switch arms, boom. Forward lunge. That's number two. Okay? These are big movements, everybody. And you're up in 10 seconds. So feel free to take that break or cut that repetition down a little bit. If those 20 is a lot for you. Three, two, one, let's go. If you just started your physical exercise lifestyle and you this is only your second or third workout, hey, cut that number of 20 down to 10. Slow it down, concentrate on the form and technique, and just keep the breath flowing. Todd Clark, you doing this exercise on the beach down there in Florida? So switch squat. I call it a switch squat because you're switching arms every time. And your forward, when you do the forward lunge, you're switching legs also. Overhead march if you finish your 20. Overhead march. All right. Yeah. If anything's going to adjust your attitude, if anything's going if to, the, if, the, if the wind's blowing in the wrong direction today and your attitude's a little down, physical exercise. Getting that exercise high is going to adjust those sails. And you have the power to do that. You just need the motivation, you need the community, you need the accountability, so it's nice having you here. Thanks for keeping me accountable too, ex-team members. I appreciate that. How many is that, John? You know? I think it's 14 right there. Oh boy. That's a lot of reps. Uh, I, I, maybe I should have put it at 16. Maybe it's 16. Gail, how are you doing back there? Uh, 15. 15? I, maybe I should have put a range of 16 to 20. 16 to 20. Sometimes when I put a range, though, I notice people pick that 16 a lot instead of that 20. Because yeah. they think, yeah, I got it. Might as well do it. So that's okay if you come up short. If it sounds like I'm yelling, I want to make sure everybody hears me over your music at home. So I need to do it. Do they have a mic? Can I mic up from a, to a cell phone? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you do that? Where, where do you get that? Because I think I looked into that one time. I couldn't find it. But that was a year ago. So technology's... Kick it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Reverse lunge thruster with a high knee. I, this is tough. This is tough. You do these without a weight, and it's tough. So pretend like you're holding a weight, okay? So it's reverse, and from the bottom, you're powering it all up, all one movement. Reverse. Power it up. Ten each leg. Ten each leg. So stay with that leg the whole time. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, my Kindle. Let's go. I already heard you were in. Peggy Snyder Dillon said Mike Kindle was in. She said, you should have seen his hair. It was really nice. I know he hasn't had a haircut for a long time. They said he was, are you working out, Mike Kindle, right now? Because she said you were like dressed in khakis, I think. I think that's what she said. Good job, John. Nice form, Gail. Reverse lunge 
is like more like a single leg squat, okay? Reverse lunge, so that leg that's forward, the leg that's forward, not the leg that's going back. Concentrate on that leg. Concentrate on using that leg and using the back leg when the toe hits just for balance. So John's right foot's forward, is forward. So at the bottom of that lunge, that left leg should just be used as a little bit of balance, but keep the weight through that left heel and ball the foot, all through that front foot, if that makes sense. You're doing it. You're doing the fundamentals of fitness. You're doing it holding some weight, which takes it up from here. Matt Lawton's like, man, I tell you what, how many, is that 20? Yeah. All right, that's good. Get a little breather. Get a little breather. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Or you can fill in the cracks with stiff leg deadlifts, but you don't have to. You can take that breather, especially if you're really into maybe some, a little more resistance and strength training. You're going a little heavier, giving yourself a little more recoup time. That's fine. If you're going for more muscular endurance, you might be going a little lighter weight or just using your body weight and still building strength, but you're building a little more muscular endurance. Go ahead, Lee J. Rosenberger, and to give me the synopsis on that in, uh, in doctor terms. In doctor terms. Sorry, man. He just, he, he just uses words. Territory. What's, or what, what's the word? Tertiary. Ter tertiary? Tertiary. tertiary. Well, that was Jen Ranker that started the tertiary. Three, two, one. Okay. I'm going to give you a little, you know what? I'm going to give you a little more of a breather. Oh. Good job. That was the first round. Oh. I'll give you a little more of a breather here, longer than 30 seconds, because where are we start back at? Push plank rows, push plank. You know, I've been working out, I've been doing six days. Usually take a, a, a day, well, I've been doing seven days the last couple weeks. But I want to, I'm like, I'm going to take Saturday off since I'm going to do that benchmark tomorrow just to give oh, my yeah, body a rest. Okay. But as I watch you two doing this, there's a lot of muscle to be built here, you know? Yeah, so I feel like I'm missing out. out. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah. God, dang. This is, I mean, yeah. this is like the dessert for the week. It's the dessert, but you don't want to cut it in half. Did you know the half thing? Are you yeah, on Facebook? Like, yeah. yeah. okay. like somebody tried to, yeah. somebody tried to cut an IPA. Uh, Kevin Dean's tried to cut an IPA in half yesterday. Okay, are you ready? You ready to go? We are up in ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push row, push row. Let's go. If you don't have a dumbbell. Try a couple of these. Hey, if you're sitting watching and you're like, hey, I want to check this thing out, this XT Fitness program, how about do one. Do one push, bro. Get in the plank. Hold that. Breathe. Uh, sit on your couch. Get back up for a squat. Sit back down. Get, start little. The, uh, the little things over a consistent time will make give you the big results. The little things consistently over a, a longer duration will give you the results. Yeah. yeah. It's Saturday. I know the days are running together, but there's still something about the weekend. There's still something about the weekend. Even if you love what you do and you're you're you made your vocation your vacation, there's something about the weekend that just gives you that it gives me that extra little boost and that extra little hey. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be a, a decent day. Right, John? Decent day? It is, yeah. Okay. My son. I mean, you gotta be, see, you gotta be able to, you gotta be able to answer those questions if you ever want to become a, a coach player. You gotta be able to talk and do exercises, which is which is difficult. The Jordan special's on tomorrow night. I know a lot of people are excited about that. Again. 34 seconds. Give yourself a range of 16 to 20 repetitions. You can give yourself that range, okay? Give yourself that range, especially if you're going a little heavier. If you have a kettlebell too, and my members, they realize this, and you want to get a little more range of motion, because you definitely get a little more range of motion with the dumbbell doing a plank row. Elevate your arm on a box or a chair and get that. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Okay. okay, yeah. Sumo high pull, dumbbell floor to mill. Those are big movements, everybody. They take a lot of energy. You're working huge, your biggest muscle groups in your body when you're squatting, you're working, you're pulling, and you're using your core. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go over some technical stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I just 
He's talking about what? I'm okay, talking, okay, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sad, <laughs> wow. He's dead. Uh, yeah. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the sumo high pull. Think about when you do that dumbbell floor to mill, when you, from that bottom, when you pull that kettlebell up, pop, keep the core tight, pop those hips into it as that one movement pulls all the way up and above your head. Okay? Yeah, I like it. I like it. And you're working your forearm, your grip strength. There's studies that show that people with stronger grip strength live longer. And I read a portion of the article, but bottom line is if you have grip strength, you're doing some kind of physical labor, okay? You're doing something where you're grabbing buckets of water, you're pulling a hose, or whatever you're doing, you're staying, you're staying active. So I took it as, hey, exercise and live long. That's how I read the article. But this will help your grip strength, holding on to that dumbbell, you're working the big muscle groups in the body, so you're getting the heart cranking, you're getting the metabolism kicking for the day. 53 seconds, let's go. Casey Benitez, way to cut that Delight Creamery coffee in half. I mean, if you're buying a caramel macchiato latte creamery, that's just, you're pretty much just dumping a bunch of sugar in your coffee. I at least have turmeric in mine, Mike Kendall. And it's low sugar. Anyhow, 30 seconds. We have a lot to go. This is going to be a tough workout. We have a lot to go. We haven't even, we haven't even hit the, the, the dice yet. The die. The die. Yeah. If you oh, finish man. those, yeah, take a break. Hey, okay. Way to work. Take a long breather, John. You have 45 seconds because we've had the rest of the minute. You have 10 seconds in the, in the two minutes. Gail's uh, popping out some dumbbell curls back there. Uh, she's filling in the cracks a little bit, which is fine. I'm sure. I bet you Rob Hammer. Stop! I bet you Rob Hammer ignored that whole top and just went to here for two minutes. I bet you that's what he's been doing. Uh, 22 right. seconds. 22 seconds. Okay, John's getting the head, his head, his head gear on. His head gear. Switch squat, forward lunge. Okay. Switch, switch, switch. Squat. FL, forward lunge. In three. Two, one, time. I personally work out with the same kettlebell the whole, or the same dumbbell because I'm assuming maybe, I, I tell you what, dumbbells are a hot commodity right now. Kettlebells are a hot commodity. They're hard to get. I'm assuming everybody has one dumbbell or one kettlebell at home. Uh, but if you have a whole uh, rack of them, then you can switch it up. You can go a little heavier. You can go a little lighter. You can use two, two uh, dumbbells on some of the exercises. So... You know how to adjust. You know how to adjust to that. The bottom line is, you're working out, you're exercising regularly, and you're being consistent. Consistency. Greg Knopf's Kingpin and I talk about consistency a lot. Just being consistent on doing something four to seven days a week for 20 to 40 minutes. That, 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 that's what I, what I like to tell people. Hey, if you're only working out three days a week, you're not even working out half of the days of the week. At least go four. Four to seven, 20 to 40 minutes of good functional fitness. Do the fundamentals. And you can do that anywhere. That's what I love about the fundamentals. You can do them anywhere. It just takes that motivation. It takes that community, that camaraderie. And that's why... XT Fitness uh, and, and gyms where you have that accountability really seem to work a lot better on keeping uh, on keeping people ad adhering to their exercise lifestyle. Okay, 30 seconds. I'm, I'm, I'm nailing the, the, the talk today, aren't I, John? I'm nailing the talk today. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are nailing it. Nailing it. Okay, yeah. I should... I need complete. No, I need complete concentration. Okay, yeah. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. Good job. You get him in. Ooh, yeah. You get him in. Get him. Wow, that's tough. That's tough. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh boy. Reverse lunge thrusters. Reverse lunge thrusters. Think about this. Reverse lunge. Even if you don't have a kettlebell to get to this position and balance, that's tough. That works a lot of stabilizer muscles around your ankle, knee, hips. So I really want to start 
like I said a couple weeks ago, throwing some more balance stuff in there. Balance, strength, combination, strength stuff. This is the combo workout. You're up in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I like those reverse lunges. I like those forward lunges. They work the muscles a little different, even opposed to walking lunges. You're kind of working the muscle a little different. A reverse lunge, a forward lunge, and a walk lunge is like uh, doing a push-up with a close grip, wide grip, doing a push-up on rings, switching the grip here like this, turning them in. Ailey J. Rosenberg, supinating the wrist, pronating the wrist. Gosh dang, you're excited about that, I know. So last, you get a break after this, you might as well push it. You get a little break after this before we roll the die, before we roll the die. Tough stuff. Getting that heart rate up there, going through a little bit of pain, a little bit of uncomfortableness is going to make this Saturday so much better because you're going to have the energy, you're going to have maybe a little bump in your mental attitude. Basically what we're doing right here, Mike, today, Hostetlers, is we're adjusting your sail. We're, you're adjusting your sail. You're adjusting your sail for the day. Sometimes you don't have control over that wind. Well, you never really have control over the wind, but you can adjust the sail. Gosh, I love that. Thanks, Action. H. Who said that? H. Jackson Brown Jr. Who wrote Life Full Instruction Book. Yeah, yeah, Jim. How'd that feel? You done? All right, man. Yeah. Really? You done? I'm skipping the rest. Skipping the rest. You, you know, John could leave right now. And that workout, what he did right there, is all you need to do. Beneficial. We just, we just take it up just a little level, level at XT Fitness. So 14 seconds to finish those reverse lunge push or high knees. Nice job. Three, two, one. Time, time. Take a breather. Take a breather. Get ready. Get ready. I'm going to put seven minutes on the clock. Seven minutes on the clock. And it's just a roll of the die. And you have to complete that roll, exercise on that roll, at the top of every minute. Blunges, a burpee, a single lunge, forward lunge. Dumbbell kick, R -H double kick RHBs. It's an RHB and just kick twice. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No push up. Okay, yeah. Hinge aisles, okay, yeah. double push up burpee. Just 12 burpees, which I hope for. Frog hops. Show a frog hop. So 30 frog hops. Basically, I want people to straighten their legs out all the way. Like that. Okay, that's good, John. I don't want, I want you to save yourself. Uh, I don't want people just to do. If you're doing an in place frog hop, I want you to actually oh, straighten the legs out all the way. Well, that's a rocky hop versus a frog hop, right? Yeah. yeah. A frog hop. Yeah. We'll explain that. Well, that's a, a frog hop. Is a frog hop. You move, you go. That's a yeah, yeah. frog yeah, hop. Yeah. Stationary frog hop. Oh. Maybe that's a stationary frog hop. Oh, Anyhow, God. up in 10. Up in, oh, wait, oh, we'll wait. See. Okay, seven. double push burpees. So uh, seven of them. Seven double push up burpees. Seven double push up burpees. Ready? Go. So look at it. Push, boom. Ah, I boomed it again. There's one. So down, two push ups. Number two, John. Yeah, yeah, Gail. Looking good. Elevate those push ups. Feel free to elevate those push-ups. I'll be rolling the die here pretty soon. Wow, you can adjust. You can adjust those if you need to. You can adjust those. Lucky seven. Let's do it again. Yeah. In six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. If it's taking you the full 60 seconds to do those, adjust that number. You can scale. I promote all of my members to scale the workout. Do four, do five, do six. I want you to have a 20 second break, 15 second break. Uh, 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 uh. You don't want to do it again for 55 seconds and only get a five for the next die roll. Do five this time. Next time we do it, shoot for six. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
Tough stuff. Tough stuff. I'm going to throw it over the top of the camera again here in a second. Twelve! Ah. Yeah! Yes. Twelve burpees. Twelve burpees. Not easy. If it was easy, you'd be scaling. 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 I'm scaling. <laughs> you scaling? You can scale. Ready? Go. Come on, Kyle Miller. Let's go, Eric Stearns. What's wrong, uh, Andy Yarnell? Come on, you can get this. Hey, 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 well, 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 welcome. Uh, 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 well, welcome. Um, gosh darn it. Wait, crank them out. Crank them out. Welcome, John Kelly, out there on Long Island. Denise Shepler's uh, nephew, I believe. Wow. Scale it down if you need to. Hey. You can do an RHB, which is no push-up, okay? No, no push-up, no jump. No push-up, no jump is an RHB, which is fine. A Royal H burpee. All right, yeah. This is tough, isn't it? Tougher than I thought. Okay, 10 frog hops, 30 frog hops. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Again, I want to I want to reiterate scale because you have thirty stationary frog hops. Go when you go, go, go. Yeah. Wow. Oh boy, that's tough. That's tough. I'm feeling like you're doing a lot. Pushing it. Way to push, Johnny Dan. Yeah, way to push. Come on, come on, get it, get it. Come on, Chris McCrancy. Come on, Brooke McCraskey. Come on, Aaron Chaney. Let's go, Samantha. Samantha Stacy. Oh, John, will you show that? Will you show that? Will you show that? Shoot, we still have three minutes. Hurry, you hustle up, hustle up. Eight seconds, show that, John. 12 burpees, yeah! Oh, God! An RHB. This is an RHB. You can do them on an elevated tire or a chair. Let's go. You're on. You're on, Mike Kendall. Are you knocking it out? Come on, Melinda Hostetler. Let's go, Ron Hostetler. Christine, is this hurting? Christine, who? Let's go, Lindsay Buttlemeyer. Stacy, Larry, come on. TC from T T Todd Clark, are you, are you rocking it out? Kingpin, are you rocking it out? Good to see you, Fred Ferguson. Oh, yeah, Paul Moyer is in the house. Sorry, man, sorry, guys. Again, you can scale. Come on, don't think you have to do them all just because you're in front of the camera, John. You can scale. Hinge aisles, nice. Hinge, boom, boom. There's one. You have, go, go. How many do you have? 11 hinge aisles. Hinge aisles. That's tough. This looks tough. Hey, only one more roll of the die. Only one more roll of the die. Come on. Come on, Pat Simeon. Let's do this thing. One more roll, one more roll. The XT Fit Die. Sorry, John, sorry, John. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh. frog hops again, frog hops again. After those hot, uh, hinge aisles. So 30 frog hops again after those hinge aisles. Let's put the die to rest. Let's put the die to rest. I don't think we've ever done that. That's tough. That's tough to just do a seven minute roll, tougher than I thought. Wow. You're up! You're up! Yeah. Hey, low impact, basically, you're doing 30 squats. You know, the more I think about some of those numbers, that's tough at the top of every minute. That's tough at the top of every minute because I utilize that die as just a rollout in a, like a, like a five-minute uh, program. So I never did top of every minute for seven minutes with that, with that fit die. Uh, looks tough. 
looks tough, but you know what? This is what's going to take you to another level when you when you when you push it a little bit here and there. Do you have to knock it out of the ballpark every workout? No, but I would move uh, is, 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 again four to seven days a week. You can adjust. Listen to your body. I'm gonna give you a nice break after this before the challenge. Before the challenge. Oh. Oh. Six, five, four, three, two. Okay. Nice, nice job, Dan. Dan did squats back there. You can do squats. Wow. I, uh, part of me feels a little like, as a coach, as a coach, uh, part of me feels like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm rewarding you a little too much with this. This mess up my benchmark tomorrow, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really. yeah. Sleep, gonna, eat, stay hydrated. I'm going to go for three quarters of a mile. Three quarters of a mile. Hey, if you go, yeah, do that. Go ahead, go ahead, Tracy Lawton. Go ahead, uh, Terry, 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 Clint. Uh, yeah, I'm just kidding, you too, lady. Okay. All right, one minute. So here's what you have. Here's what you have. A one-arm, one-arm plank. Okay. One-arm plank. Okay. You can switch arms, but you don't want to drop your knees. 100 runners. 100 bicycles. One, two, three, four, five. That's how you count the runners and the bicycles, okay? Um, after that, if you want to do your bonus, your bonus exercise, you have 100 sit-ups, okay? You have 100 sit-ups. Oh, it's going to hurt. You have three minutes to finish this. Ready? Wow. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this, this, this bonus. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. So one. Yeah, just hold that. Just hold that. Right, if you go one arm, I'll tell you when to switch. I'll tell you when to switch. I just covered up Manolo. Why, why, why didn't you ever grasp onto Manolo like uh, I did? Yeah, like him. Did you? Yeah, I mean. But you didn't grasp onto Manolo like I did. I forgot. I, I, peer pressure was too much. When we were growing up in the station wagon, my mom played a lot of Barry Manolo. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch right. arms, switch what arms. You, what you got your first taste of Jeff Lynn now? Once John just said, one, I was going to say that, he grasped on the ELO, Jeff Lynn of ELO, uh, Sweet Talking Woman, yeah. and uh, Horace Wimp. Is Horace Wimp, that, right? Yeah, that was from Discovery. That's from Discovery. And I grasped on the Can't Smile Without You by Barry Manilow. Anyhow, in 10 seconds, you have 100 runners. 100 runners. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So you have two minutes to do 100 runners and 100 level one bicycles, level one bicycles, which would be bicycles with your hands on the floor, okay? Yeah, yeah. Let's go, knock them out. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're gonna feel so good after this workout, after this little bit of, uh, the, this, little, this little uncomfortableness, this uncomfortableness you're going through, you're gonna feel better. I know people that are just watching right now, they probably think that, that, that this is an enigma. An enigma is just puzzling, difficult to understand. That was my word earlier this week. Maybe going through this uncomfortableness is a little difficult for some people to understand, but the reason why John and Gail do it regularly is because the way it makes them feel. It does make you feel better. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm talking for yeah. them. It's yes, good for, that's right. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's good for their, 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 their they, they feel good. <laughs> they, they stay healthy. They're going to live longer function and, and have better function in their, 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 their later days. And that's why I do it. Again, I'm probably speaking for my, my, myself a lot here, too. But why else would you put yourself through this if it didn't benefit the rest of your life, the other 23 hours and, and uh, 20 minutes of the day? Wow, so this is going to take a while. This, 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 so, okay, so if you're doing the XT Fitness Challenge... And you don't finish this in three minutes, that's okay. You can still mark your little box on the on the on the challenge. You can still mark your little box on the on the challenge if you just finish it, okay? Because you only have 18 seconds to get hundred in. And remember, if you want to mark that third box, you have hundred sit-ups today. You have hundred sit-ups today. Five, four, three, two. That's tougher than I thought. That's tougher than I thought. Keep going. How many is it? 60. 60. So John has 40 more, and the clock has ran out, which is fine. 
And remember, the bonus, if you've already finished those, the bonus is 100 body weight sit-ups. Well, I was, yeah, you can do, you can add weight to sit-ups. So I'm going to hang on here. I'm going to hang on here for a while. For those of you that are done with the workout and you're not going to do the 100 sit-ups, great job today. Cool down a little bit. Walk it out. March out in front here. I'll give you some, I'll give you a little epilogue here at, at, at the end. After John finishes his uh, what, what 100. Are you going to do the sit-ups? you doing the sit-ups today? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to pad? I'm going to need a pad. What's that? What are you going to do? I'm going to go to bed. You just kind of look like that. <laughs> You just look like dad right there when you said that. You just look like dad. Whoa, whoa, I just saw. So, Jeez. yeah, that's, that hurts, doesn't it? Okay, so I, I, I did plan this. Gosh, I get, I get it was supposed to be my day off, but I'm, I'm looking at this workout, and I can see how beneficial this darn thing is. I don't, I don't want to take a day off. I feel that in hamstrings. Really? I feel that in my quads. Yeah, the quads. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of quads. A lot of quads. You feel hammies? I feel a little hammy, yeah. Okay, good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. If you're doing the workout and you're not used to uh, the XT uh, uh, format here, we do everything. We do functional fitness here, how the body moves. So right now, all of my members uh, at, at XT Fitness have a sheet that uh, they have a challenge every day. And if they, if they get so many workouts in a month, they mark it off, you get, you get your... your you get this thrown into a raffle for some good prizes. And by the way, I'm going to put it on the, uh, in the private XT page on what's getting raffled off this weekend. And the shirts are coming. We're, we're, we're getting that. John, you are getting that uh, thing over there. Okay. Yeah, okay, thanks, pal. Thanks, pal. Uh, they're back there doing their sit-ups right now. Uh, their 100 sit-ups because if you mark the daily workout off, the challenge, which the challenge we just finished, now the bonus is the 100 sit-ups for the day. Boom. All three of those are marked off. It's tough. It's great. Good job, everyone. Great to have you. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, hey, X team members, I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm not going to go live at 1 o'clock, but you can do that benchmark anytime throughout the day. I think I'm going to do it at 8 a.m. So I'm going to run, walk, whatever my mile. I'm going to do my 100 body weight squats, my 75 walking lunges, my 50 burpees. And I'm going to figure out when, uh, see how long it took me. Um, John, John, what he wants to do, did you, did you put that on this, this, okay. No, we're going to add, we'll put it, we'll save one. We'll so, so, so tomorrow, so tomorrow, one mile run walk, 100 squats. I didn't, yeah, I didn't share it yet, I don't think. No. Okay. 75 okay. walking lunges, 50 burpees. We're going to put little times in there where you can mark your time off how long it took you to, to run, how long it took you to do the 100 sit-ups, how long it took you to set but, but we're going to get the total time right here. And we'll be able to print those off on the uh, XT page. Thanks a lot. Keep doing those sit-ups if you want that full day workout challenge. And uh, thanks, John and Gail. Thanks, John and Gail. See, look at there. They're actually doing their sit-ups. Mike Kendall. They're doing their sit-ups. Melinda and Ron. Samantha. Natalie and Eric. Christine and Grant. Lindsay. Larry and Stacy. T. Clark. Greg. Pink Kingpin. Fred Ferguson. Paul Moyer. Pat Simeon. Have a great day, everyone.